we're here at the Tinashe Rodi uh, tournament. It's the eighth annual. We have been saying fifth, but we found out it was actually started in 2010. Uh, things are going pretty well. Every school showed up, uh, which is exciting. And they're pretty excited that for the first time, they debate till the end. So there's no knockout. There's nothing like, okay, you're going home because you have nothing and you're not good enough. So that's exciting because we wanted to incorporate everyone in this program this year. Also, the food was amazing. I, I keep getting compliments and people asking for the caterer's number. I will speak to you afterwards. Um, I think it's mainly the support from the school that keeps us going as the debate society. And it's, it's a small club, but we manage to have events like Tinashe Rodzi that are extremely big. And why is it called Tinashe Rodzi? Because the man himself, Tinashe Rodzi, sponsors us. So he gives us the money for all these things because he believes in the development of speakers. And people are not capable of deciding um, important factors for ourselves. Because everybody knows that in order for a country to industrialize and develop, they need agrarian reform. It's really against the motion that means this house believes that churches in Zimbabwe have become businesses and should be taxed like businesses. Now, the first speaker from the affirmative delegation came up and told us that a business is there to provide goods and services for sale. Ladies and gentlemen, the church, however, is different from this because it provides goods and services for the benefits of the people, for the social benefits, to teach the people about the religion and how to get closer to your God. So that they're different from businesses and thus they should not be taxed, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the small churches, their income is too low to be taxed. They are the type of churches, ladies and gentlemen, that are using that money. Simply for the survival of the priest and not for this luxurious living under the other churches, which are getting so much money that the priests are failing to find stuff to do with it. Debate for me started off as a way to argue <laughs> because I, I'm very argumentative and it slowly became a passion. It's something that I do not because I have to do it but because I love to do it and that's what keeps me going for these things. It, I can't give up because I don't have that option. So it's, it's a platform for me to be me without restrictions. privilege of being chief adjudicator at the annual Tinashe Rodzi Cup so I'm so pumped. What I did then see from the students is that training is the biggest thing. The intelligence is there, the oratory capability is there but the technicalities of the debate is what's missing. So as we were going through after each round we would then tell them for example how to use the cue cards, what's expected of each speaker on each side. So I do hope that at the next tournament or next year we are going to come back with students who are much, much better and who know exactly what they're supposed to do in terms of content and style. But I'm so impressed with the level of organization at the convent by the admin team. The students did exactly what they were required to do. So I'm so honored to be the chief adjudicator. And hey, you know, let's see who's going to make it to the finals. I want to thank the GFPS adjudicators because most of them are here. There's also lawyers from big firms that are here. And we want to thank Tinashe Rozi again and again because without him this would not have been possible. Sister Kazai, our headmistress, because if she didn't say yes we wouldn't be able to use the school as a venue. Mrs. Mugijimo is our TIC and the schools that I...